So you often see DJs like Skrillex and James Hype do cool things in their mixes like this. And this. And though doing those things may be totally unnecessary in the grand scheme of the mix, this accenting though does look cool and sound pretty good most of the time. So in this video, I'm going to show you 5 techniques the pros use to DJ high energy sets. Or at least look like you're DJing high energy sets. <laughs> Technique number 1. Backspins. Using backspins is probably Skrillex's most favorite way to transition out of a track. And I can't blame him, because using backspins is an effective way to bring energy to one set because it hypes up the entrance of the next song. So the secret to use backspins effectively when you're mixing two songs together is to first activate an echo effect on the track you'll be backspinning from, then to slightly lower the volume of the track as you near the transition point, then to backspin the track 2-4 to four beats before the next song reaches its intro. So for this example, we'll be backspinning here. Technique number 2, Pad Effects. Now, when pro DJs and festivals want to show off, they tend to backspin, roll, and vinyl break their track to accent it. And an effective way to do just that without affecting the track's original playback is by using slip mode which is mostly available on expensive DJ equipment. So slip mode allows the user to cue and scratch the track without affecting its original playback. But since most beginner DJs don't have DJ units that have slip mode, an equally effective way to accent one's track is to use a roll, vinyl break, and trance pad effects. So these are my pad effects settings. And I tend to play around with these effects when I want to spice up a track. So I suggest to copy these settings and to play around with them to do cool pad effects combos. So if you want to learn how to set up your pad effects, go to this section of the video over here. Anyway, let's now move on to technique number 3, which is scratch slash cue dropping. So as you just saw there, this transition bypasses mixing because all you're doing is just echoing out the previous track away and scratching slash cueing the next song in. This is by far my favorite way to transition when I want to skip mixing and just jump to a different genre or BPM range. The secret is to make sure that your next song has a good start like a quick drum or vocal intro. This is how we do it. Anyway, before we move on to my two favorite ways to accent a buildup, if you guys want to ensure that you nail all these DJ tricks live in your DJ sets, you guys gotta check out Young Guru's online class on how to DJ from setup to soundcheck. There he teaches you a bunch of things, like how to set up your equipment, how to make sure everything sounds right, and just how to have an overall better and smoother time DJing live. So if you want to check out that DJ and I have masterclass and a whole lot more, the first 1,000 people who click the link down below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium so you can explore your creativity. 
And Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning. With over 20,000 classes in graphic design, music production, songwriting, and more, which are all filled by passion creatives like myself, you're pretty much set for life if you want to learn anything new, efficiently, effectively, and economically. Because an annual subscription on Skillshare just costs us $10 a month. So make 2021 a year where you explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity with Skillshare's online classes. Anyway, let's now move on to technique number four, which is delay filter accenting. Now, there's only so much you can do during an EDM buildup. So what most pro DJs do is that they tend to use a filter knob and delay effect to hype up their buildup. So their strategy is to simply turn their filter knob clockwise during the buildup and counterclockwise when the buildup reaches its climax. All while the delay effect is active and set to either one fourth or one half. So for this example, we'll activate our delay effect and start turning our filter knob at Q.8. Then we'll bring the filter knob back to the 12 o'clock position and deactivate our echo effect at Q.B. point B. So that's the most basic way to use that delay filter combo. But if you want to take it even further, try playing around with the volume fader of the track as well as the filter knob as you reach the song's climax. Now let's take this buildup accenting to another level by using technique number 5 which is noisy effects accenting. So what I just used there in place of a filter is a noise CFX, and as its name implies, this knob creates white noise. Along with that, I combine the noise CFX with an echo effect as well as a pad effects trans effect to get that stuttery sound effect. So all you have to do to do this trick is to first activate an echo effect when you reach the current song's build-up section. Then to slowly turn the noisy effects knob clockwise. Then as you near the track's climax, at the same time, crank the noisy effects knob clockwise and counterclockwise, and activate the pad effects trans effect. And when you finally reach the current song's drop, Remember to bring that noise CFX knob back to the 12 o'clock position and to deactivate the echo effect. So here's how you can get access to the noise CFX function on Recordbox DJ. In the view section, scroll down till you see the effect panel. Then click beat effects plus sound color effects. Then close the settings menu. Now at the top left section of your screen, go to the CFX section and click the single dot. Then click user. And from the filter tab, select noise and make sure it's highlighted. Then finally, bring the parameter knob to the one o'clock position. And here's how you can adjust your pad effect settings. So the first thing you should do is select pad effects. Then click the tool icon and now we can adjust our pad effects functions. So let me give you an example by adjusting our beat roll pad effects. So click a spot, then select beat effects, then select roll. Then next to it, select your desired parameter. And that's it. Let me know which technique was your favorite down below and with that said, I will see you all in the next one.